equally. So we don't overcrowd shelter A just because people know it's there. It's a commonly used shelter. We have shelter B over here that has all the same capabilities, but nobody's using it. Search capacity. Got what else is available? And we're already talking about starting an incident management. We're already activating our disaster. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, it is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> is that your walking that's wounded? It was far away. Yeah. Well, yeah. Over there. Yeah. yeah. One over there. Around the hospital, I mean. Like here, like here. Send them to the nursing of the medical students. Yeah. You guys go over here. You guys can walk and talk. Get out of my ease. Oh, you say, what can you do? Send them away. I'm, a, I'm a doctor. Okay. Yep. What, can, what kind of doctor? I can do anything. Whatever you need. So the media's arrived. You another one. The my, the walking wounded go to endoscopy. All right. This is what happened after the earthquake in Haiti. You had an empty floor space. That's where you put somebody. In the cholera epidemic after that. Have an empty floor space, you're just waiting somebody in. Or is this yeah, is it cold is this? out? Yeah. Can we do Where, this yeah, outside? Yeah. I don't know. Keep them in the ambulances? I don't know. I don't know. Well, so you're incident commander, you're inside. You're outside triaging people initially, reds, black streets, dealing with family, um, and you've got security. This is where security is most needed in the whole entire thing, right? People want yes. to get into that ER. Everyone thinks they need to see a doctor. Right. Joint command, but um, the more people that are jointly commanding something, I think the less able you are to make quick decisions. She didn't need to do anything. Her airway was okay. Is she breathing? Yes. Does she obey commands, make purposeful movement? Yep, because she was able to move the wheelchair. Does she have a peripheral pulse? Yes. Is she not in respiratory? And then what were her injuries? Did they list that on there? So she's got no, no visible injuries. So, yep. <laughs> Understood. We've got those ambulances inbound. Can you give me a final casualty count? Okay. We'll turn the noise down. That was an awesome job, you guys. Nice. Cute. Identify that need, and it might be time sensitive. So, you know, where is your gap? And it is on one of your documents as your incident action plan. You may have had an incident action plan at the beginning where you had three objectives, but now you have an incident, so you almost have to re-identify your objectives. Mm -hmm. Now, objectives are very broad, okay, they're not really detailed, but what, what would you, so before this event happened, as well as now that the event happened, what would your number one objective be of this whole event? Before it happened? Before Life safety, Life safety right? make sure the event goes off. Monitor yeah. the situation to be able to respond. Okay. If necessary. Um, did that change because this happened? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your objective now would be to get people to safety. Yeah. Okay. I need to be. The EMS unit is about one minute away bringing a 17 year old female who is febrile, short of breath, coughing, and with altered mental status. The question is. Um, so this, your guys are pretty much close to the capacity, but not quite. Um, is there any particular area that you want to put this uh, this girl in? Do you have a negative pressure? Yeah. We, have a, we do have two negative pressure rooms. One is occupied. Um, we have 
We have a, we actually have three. It's really sick. Really it's sick. It's it's my daughter. daughter. All right. Yeah. On the yeah. Pretty nice on the monitor. No, she just, she's not breathing right here. She's all clammy and everything. I thought she just had a cold. Oh, she's on the monitor. Come on. Oh, where's the elephant go? Oh. Okay, there's no elephant. I keep telling you about it. There's no elephant, okay? I got a line with you on the left. So hot. Talking. Why is she bleeding? Why is she bleeding out of her nose and eyes? She, that's what freaked me out. She was popping up blood, and then, then I got panicky. There's the elephant. Where did it go? Yeah. So when you look at her mouth, suction. This still looks like her mouth. To anybody that's this is her chest X-ray. Did oh. she have like strep okay. throat or something? Oh, right. yeah. Did, did she go anywhere unusual in the last no. two weeks? Uh, is it nothing unusual? He, she was playing field hockey, um, and her friend, a couple of her friends have some cough and cold, but no one else. So you are the medical component of the urgent search and rescue team at UK team. You've been deployed to the scene of a large explosion here. It's been suspected to, that's an intentional explosion at a large popular hotel. Um, the event happened about 8 a.m. It's about 4 p.m. now. We will definitely have to go to field education get the monitor. No one's going to be here when no one's standing behind. But the point no is, the, the, the number one point here for, for us is team safety. It's a little, um, okay. It's a little, I guess. How are our breath sounds here? I can't. I'm going to say, I can't feel my breath. Can you see breath for me? Would you put her on your kind of non-rebreather? Yeah, non-rebreather. Non-rebreather, okay. All right, hang on. Leader of fluid. Leader of fluid. Okay. Please. 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 We have impending collapse. Hang the second liter of fluid. Let's get out of here. Everything behind you. Get out. 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 Was that a good scenario, guys? Does everybody feel it's awesome. okay? That's really cool. It's so how, did that, cool. how did that see? How did that feel? I don't know. I'm That's the coolest sim I've ever been a part of. It was great. <laughs> work. Thank you. I just want to make sure that everybody's, again, you know, did it seem a little stressful? Yeah. Oh, I'm pumped. You know. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> girl is flowing. That was good. Yeah. That was yeah. good. So, you know, in terms of what <coughs> makes it stressful, right? I think it's all the stimuli, right? It's the bells We're and the whistles. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So you can't take the blood pressure. Hmm? You can't you take my blood pressure. You can, you can try to do it by my Although, patient. you're right, if they have a low blood pressure at all, you're yeah, not going to feel it. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about blood pressure at this point. No, it's just a, go ahead, they're try not to, it's just to show you how, you know, you do this. It's, it's so hard just to move in these clothes. Not only just for your That's protection, but